All right, well, the gang's all here again. I've got Elliot here, who's just brought care packages from a good friend, Kyle, who knew that we were a bit down in the dumps when we broke down. So he sent, um, yet to be found out, contents in these care packages. Hey Cam and Camille, I hope you are doing okay. I hear that you're a little bit stuck. So I thought I'd nip into my local Caribbean store and grab yourself some really, really interesting products and chilies and spices. So enjoy what, uh, what comes to you. I'll see you guys real soon. And out here, poor old Kevin is stuck down the hole. Again. Again. Um, attempting to get Badger running. And Elliot. So the whole gang's back together in glorious sunshine. Happy days. Well, well, well. All right, we've had a care package from Kyle. So thank you, Kyle. Thank you so much, Kyle. So um, Kyle noticed the last time when we did the vlog and we broke down, and Kevin, who's sweating himself to death in the uh, engine bay right now, uh, was fixing it. He noticed that we were a little bit down and he sent us something to cheer us up a little bit. So Elliot also, another of our friends and heroes, uh, delivered it uh, from Leicester today. So let's see what's in it. Yeah. Very excited to see what's well, in it. Well, yeah, no it's idea. A, so let's it's have a surprise. <laughs> Try not to lacerate myself. There we go. All right. Oh, curry powder. Definitely going to come in use. Oh, nice one. More and mixed spices, garam masala. So that's some curry on the menu okay. for sure. Cardamom seeds. More garam masala powder. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, Jamaican happy. aki. <laughs> happy days. Hey, I put a smile on my face. So aki. Kalaloo. Wow. Yeah, all good. So we've been down the Caribbean stores, old Kyle. Some more spices, hot and spicy. More pimento seeds. No, this is really a This treat. is really useful. Yes. Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon sticks. How did he not? Oh my God. I've been trying so hard to get Find cinnamon it. sticks because I wanted it for the logo for my- For your coffee yeah. thing. Oh, and okay. I just did it and now the cinnamon <laughs> sticks. These are so hard to find yeah. everywhere it would seem because I even have a friend in Russia trying to get some for me. I'm so pleased to see these. Uh, coriander, whole, and some cloves. So, cooking supplies. Well right. done, thank you, Kyle. Now, what's in this box? Ah, the bun. Oh. This is the Jamaican honey bun. Very moist, delicious, full of raisins, dried fruit, and uh, I guess some cinnamon as well, nutmeg. And you eat this with An cheese. An absolute delicious Jamaican dish. Bun Normally we have it in Easter, but I love it every day of the year with cheese, of course. I don't usually get to get much of it. My Jamaican. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so jackfruit. Wow. Mm. Jackfruit. Wow. Jerk seasoning. Kyle, man, this is a serious wow. care package. It says green jackfruit. I've never seen this. Some garlic. It looks like breadfruit on the outside. Some Jamaican all purpose seasoning. Nice. Happy days. Kyle went to town. Kyle definitely 
uh, some jerk barbecue so we can when we crank up the barbecue next time for definite Kyle man we are set what have we got in here chilies wow scotch bunny a scotch bunny chilies wow happy days what's that in here more jerk seasoning <laughs> Bread fruit, yeah? No, yum. Yum? Mm -hmm. So that's how much I know. <laughs> Happy days. Wow. These are cherries, then. Hmm? The cherries. No, they're not the cherries. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Some herbs and yeah. ginger. Um, oh, 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 oh. What have we got in here? Fresh. And some more chilies. Cool. Kyle, happy days. Thank you very much. Well, this some is far more than what I ever expected. I yeah. Is um the spice bun is coming, and I have all my favorite. All your favorite stuff for cooking with. I have an aki, my kalalu, my jerk seasons, and my cinnamon sticks. Well. And a freezer brick. <laughs> Happy days. This really is a treat. So, nice care package. Yeah. It just means that when we do our shopping on a weekly basis now, we've got so much to pad it out with to make things really nice. So, yeah. yeah. Really the Jamaican flavour is always Massive. nice. Massive, yeah. And it's not the easiest to find. I'm not, not sure where Kyle is based in Manchester. He's in Manchester, yeah. Okay, you're doing, I think there's a large yeah. Jamaican community there Oh as yes, well. yeah. Because I know in Leicester market you tend to find these stuff quite easily. Mm. But not all places. And well when we're out in the sticks like we are now you can't find stuff yeah, like this. So and the brands are really traditional Jamaican brands, they're tropical. No? tropical. Mm. It's just well, amazing. Kyle said he was going to put a smile on my face. Yeah. And you've well, succeeded. It's a, it's a big you. smile Kyle, thank you. <laughs> All right, now let's go and see how Kevin's doing with the engine. I don't think Kevin's smiling. <laughs> All right, it's very early. And we got the engine started yesterday. So we're hoping it's going to start this morning to make the massive distance of 250 meters to Street A. Moment of truth. And I think I'll need that drum roll possibly again.
All right, so she's out of the water and they're going to get one of the guys from the wharf now to pressure wash her off uh, get all of the gunk um, that's been accumulating for the last three years off the hull we'll scrape all the loose bits off and then once she's dried uh, we'll be applying the first first bit of paint first bit of blacking Now we had noticed that the previous blacking was coming off in quite big flakes which means if we were to put hours on top of it and we had any small impact or you know anything really then ours is just going to flake off with the undercoat that's already there so because it's coming off so easily we're going to scrape off all the previous because it is just coming off effortlessly and uh, when we apply ours to the bare steel and do two possibly three coats and allow it to dry properly it should be a, should be a better job so people keep saying to me we want to see more of Camille in your videos so here's more of Camille in the videos right so myself and Camille have now scraped off everything after the pressure wash that we need to scrape off and giving it a wipe down as well um, before we apply the first coat while we've been doing that Kevin is buried buried in here right what he's doing in here is we're repacking the prop shaft with rope because it was nigh on non-existent so we were going through an awful lot of grease. stern gland grease and as much as I do love to grease up my stern gland not to the tune of uh, a tub every month so the last piece is going in now also he has also fixed the the bilge pumps so and as you can see he's extremely well organized <laughs> <laughs> Martin's useless, he's had to get someone's help to put up his own tent. <laughs> <laughs> we love Martin though. All good. So, what can I say about what's going on now? Other than this really, we've done two days of black in the boat, a lot's been fixed. The bilge pumps are working. Uh, the stern glands had the rope repacked into it. Uh, the engine, the gaskets are being replaced, they'll uh, be put back together tomorrow and two coats of blacking on the boat, the last coat goes on tomorrow and uh, eat, drink, be merry time now and it's not raining like last night which is awesome, yeah so happy, happy can.